Alright, hey guys. Uh, today I've got a skylight for my kitchen and my camper. And this is a replacement. The one I have has got a crack in it somehow. Don't, don't know how that got there. But uh, I got this in yesterday, last night after I got home from work. And I uh, thought today would be a good day to do it. It's wonderful outside, beautiful. So today would be a good day to do this. So they sent me some uh, tape here to put underneath it, which is what you see around the edge here. And they've also sent in some screws to screw it down with. Uh, there's probably, I don't know, 20 uh, inch and a half screws here that goes in it. They also sent a self-leveling silicone caulk to put around it, but I will probably put this on there, but I like to go a little step further and I got this uh, a turnabond, turnabond tape, it's a six inch tape and uh, it is designed for rooftops especially and I'll also put this around the edge of it so it can't leak or go anywhere. So without further ado, let's go outside and get this done. Okay, here I am on my roof and uh, I'm going to take this clear sunroof off and all this goop has got to come up all this caulking old caulking we got a uh, three inch spatula here to use also got my drill when I'm ready to put my screws in for my vent and then I'll put the tape over top of the edges of the vent so I'm gonna get to cleaning up the caulk So, as you can see, I've got all the, uh, the old caulking off. This is a sealant from the last one, and uh, it's pretty sticky still, so I'm going to go right over top of this and do the same thing. Alright, so now that I have all the screws in, I'm going to take my 6 inch wide tape and go all the way around the edge. Now that I have all the lengths cut on the inside, it has got a cellophane 
on, on the inside of it, fill that off and stick it to it. just like that. Here's my tinted uh, sunscreen in my kitchen for the inside of the camper. Thank you guys for watching. Stuff.